Hello my wonderful students very good morning so today we are going to see periodic test question paper for class 2 the subject is mathematics okay so total marks is 30 marks i want everyone to score 30 marks all right so if you receive this question paper through email so it will be very easy for practice so if you require email join the channel okay so i'll tell you how to join the channel in middle of the video okay so first option is knowledge and you are going to score 5 marks all right so tick the correct answer to the given question so you have to select the correct answer so which one is heavier so two candles are given here so this candle is little shorter and this candle is little longer so which one is heavier obviously the longer candle will be heavy next one which one is lighter so we have given with a pencil and we have given with a book so which one is the lighter obviously pencil is the lighter so next one which one is lighter so we have a honey bee and we have a truck here so which one is lighter obviously the honey bee is the lighter one so which one is the heavier globe or a flower so the heavier one is globe so easily you can able to score 5 marks for this knowledge part okay so next one is understanding the concept and understanding the concept again you are going to score 5 marks complete the table with correct answer you have to complete the table with correct answer okay so there is a sample given here 3 2 times 3 R six so three into two, which is equal to six. Now two four R eight so two four R eight so two into four is equal to eight. Okay, easy one. Next. Two five R ten. So two into five, which is equal to, sorry, so two into five, which is equal to ten. Okay, even you can count and see. Okay, so let me change the color to brighter. I'll count and show you. So one, two, three. Four, five, six. So you are getting six. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You are getting eight. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you are getting ten. So how many pairs we have? We have two pairs. So in each we have two pairs. In each pair, here we have three apples. Here we have four apples, and here we have five apples. Okay, two groups with different numbers. All right. So next. So if you want this worksheet, I'll tell you how to get this worksheet for practice. Okay, you have to join the channel. Okay, for example, here this is the channel page. You have to join. click the join button and do not select general select monthly worksheet and pay 199 ask your parents to pay 199 so that i'll be sending all the worksheet and exam question paper for practice okay so you can also go into the channel page for example uh, this lesson if you want to click this okay. lesson click the lesson come down there will be option more option the description so here there is a link if you click the link it will directly take you to the page to join page so here do not select general select monthly worksheet and then click on join option for joining okay so every month you will be receiving all the worksheet for english and mathematics for practice when you go to next standard third standard also you will be receiving everything for practice okay so let's go into the question paper now next so we have 5 5 5 so we in each 
hand we have five fingers one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five so five plus five plus five is fifteen so five times oh three times five So it's three times five. So three times five. So how many fingers? Three times five. Three into five is fifteen. You can also count and see. Okay, let me erase this and I'll count and show you how many are coming. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So five plus five is ten. Ten plus five is fifteen fingers. Okay. So next one. So we have bananas here. So how many bananas are there? Bunches one, two, three, four, five, six. So six are there. And each group we have three bananas. One, two, three. So three bananas are there in six groups. So you have to write three plus three plus three, three plus three plus three. So six times three. So six times three is eighteen. Let me do it in a different color. You can also count and cross verify. We can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So eighteen bananas. Okay. So very easy. So next one is ability to compute. Okay. So answer the following. Make the smaller and biggest number using the given digit. You have to make the smaller and bigger number. So the smaller number you will get fifty-seven because five is the smallest number when you compare to seven. So the bigger number is seventy-five. So this one is very very easy, students. Okay, easy one. So next one. So we have. Cars given here. Three groups are there. One, two, three. Three groups of cars are there. And how many in each group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine cars are there in each group. Okay. So let's see the question. How many groups of cars are there? So how many groups of cars are there? This is the first one, second one, third one. So three groups of cars are there. How many cars in each group? We already counted how many cars, right? So let's count one more time. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So how many are there? We have nine cars in each group. So how many cars are there in total? So we have three groups, and each group we have nine cars. Correct. So nine threes are twenty-seven. Okay. So twenty-seven. If you want, you can count and see. Okay. Let me erase all this, and you can count and see. Okay. Let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. So twenty-seven. So how many groups of cars are there? Three groups. How many cars in each group? It's nine. How many cars in total? It's twenty-seven. Okay. Both easy ones. Okay. So next, write down the time for each picture. So you need to write down the time for each picture. 
So let me change the color. So here the smaller one, it is in number 10. And the bigger one, bigger needle is in 12. So this is 10 o'clock. Okay, here see the smaller, it's focusing to number 9. And this one, it's towards 12. So this one is 9 o'clock. And see this one, smaller is number 5, and the bigger is at number 12. So this one is 5 o'clock. Okay, so now we are going to draw the clock here. The first one, it's 2 o'clock, it's 2.10. So what you have to do is, you have to mark a needle near 2, smaller one. And you have to draw another one, bigger one, towards 10. Okay, 5.30, this one is 5. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So this one is 5. So 5.30, this one is 30. Okay. Next, 750. So this one is 7 here and 15. 750. Okay. So this one is also very easy. You can score 5 marks. Okay. So next one is problem solving ability, and this one is the last portion. So understanding distance. Okay. So we have given with map. So here, let me zoom it little more and show you I think now it will be visible okay so we have boathouse theater volleyball lake Norway office dining hall cabins pine path Arts and craft, good valley ramp, tennis court, and a stable. So, first question What is the nearest building to the lake? So, where is the uh, lake here? Here, the Norway lake is here. So, what is the nearest building? Boathouse is the nearest building here. It is very near. So, the answer is boathouse. Next, what building is farthest from the theatre? So, from theatre, which building is very far? So, this one is the theatre. So, the farthest building is here. Stable. Okay. Next question. Is the volleyball court nearest to ball field or tennis court? So, volleyball court. So, volleyball is near to tennis court or ball field. So, here is the tennis court and here is the ball field and we have volleyball here. So, which is the nearest one? If you go like this, you can able to reach the tennis court first. Then is ball field. So, which one is the nearest? The tennis court is the nearest. So, tennis court is the nearest, okay? So, now we have completed this question paper. Students, if you want this question paper through email, do join the channel and send me an email along with your class name and state, okay? So, all the very best for your exam. Do well. I want everyone to score full marks and get A+. Plus, all right? All the very best. Take care and be safe.